What's up guys, Lance here. And today I want to talk to you about writing every day and how damn hard it is. You need an idea, you need characters, you need a, a setup. Go down on the page, construct your scenes, edit. It's hard. And dealing daily with that hardness is challenging. So if you don't mind, I have a couple of suggestions that I personally use to keep my writing going through all the difficulties that uh, life and stories throw at me. So here we go. If you want to write every day, the first thing to consider is purpose. What's your writing? Is it a novel that you hope to publish one day? Or a short story that you want to submit to some magazine? Or are you writing just for fun? Because if you're writing for fun, maybe you shouldn't write every day, unless you find it fun. But if you want to get more proficient with the craft, to be a professional writer, why not? Then writing every day is a good idea. The second thing is ideas. What are you going to write? Generating ideas is part of the writing process and you shouldn't jump on the page without taking enough time to think about what you're going to write because you won't last, you will get stuck and things will become very frustrating very, very, very quickly. So it really helps to have a project to work with because it gives you contest, it gives you a guideline that you can follow for a few weeks if it's a short story or a few months if it's a novel. If you think that you can get yourself in front of your computer or a piece of paper and just wait for uh, inspiration to strike, you are going to have some disappointing days. It's much more fun if you start with an idea that it really hits you and then you can use your daily session to expand on that idea. And to work on ideas, you have really two options. The first one is to have an outline of your story which means daydreaming about your story, like the whole story for a while and taking notes about what you are daydreaming of. And then turn those notes in a full length story. The other option is to just start with an idea and develop the idea and the story on the page as you go, which I know it sounds very similar to what I just said not to do because it's frustrating, but there's a caveat. If you don't have a precise outline of your plot, you've got to have down your character and uh, your location. And the process is to have a first scene, that's the idea you need to start. So a first scene with your character, a very well-defined character. You, you need to know who the character is. You don't need to know everything about the character, but you need to know to feel who the character is, the kind of stuff that he thinks in any situation, the kind of stuff that he does in any situation, he or she, I use he because I'm a male and I'm more comfortable writing male character, so I, I use he, but it's the same thing. If he's a woman, same thing. Um, so you need to know who your character is and you need to know where everything is taking place. I write science fiction and fantasy, so I usually have to create the where but even if it's um, a real place, you really need to know that place. You really need to know uh, how it feels. You really need to know what kind of people live there. You need to know all those kind of things that will allow you to move your main character through the location as things are happening. And then as you do, you know what will happen next. But if you're not sure about what the where is or what the character will do, then you will get stuck pretty soon and uh, pretty definitely. So we got the purpose, we got the ideas. Now there is one last thing to consider and it's your daily quota. How much are you going to write every day? That's important too, because if you set a goal way too optimistic, things will get way too frustrating way too soon. If you set a goal that is way too low, you will need a lot more time to complete your project and that's also frustrating in a different way, especially if you hope to do something practical, if you work, get it published, get it in front of the eyes of other people. So how much should you write? 
The way I went to choose how much words write every day was to reference authors that I like. For example, Neil Gaiman claims that a good day of writing for him are 1500 words, which is very doable. Stephen King, which is an incredibly prolific writer, writes six pages per day. It's around 1800 words. So having that ballpark as representative of what real professionals in the profession do, I find myself comfortable in 1200 words. If I can put 1200 words on a page every day, I am happy. Some days will be less, some other day will be more. Whatever the number you're going to choose, the important thing is that you stop knowing what will happen next like how the next scene will start. In this way, the next day, you can get back on the writing and start uh, with the right foot. There's nothing worse than finish a good day of writing, uh, thinking, yeah, 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 then tomorrow I see what is going to happen. And then tomorrow comes and you have no idea what is going to happen and you stir the monitor, you stir your piece of paper, you procrastinate, you do anything else but writing. So, yeah. Uh, for me, when it comes to a word count, is quality over quantity. And I mean as quality of words that I can put on paper if I take more time to think about them, and quality of the process, meaning something that I can do and enjoy every day. If you're starting out, 500 words are perfect. If you are just starting out, do not expect to write a thousand words every day, yeah, just start out. Because maybe you can, <laughs> and then you finish your story, you finish your first draft, you get back to revise, and you're like, oh my god, what have I written? That happened to me when I was trying to put 3,000 words per day on paper for 4,000. Uh, re reading back what, what I have written, it was terrible it was oh my god I, I wrote pages and pages of crap that now i will take hours and hours and hours to edit and probably i will end up throwing off anyway so find the sweet spot it's not a race it's uh it's a creative process it's it's an art don't set goals that are too out of your comfort zone because these days everyone is, yeah, get out of your comfort zone, go harder, try better. Well, yeah, you won't last. That, that's, it's, 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 this is not a racing competition, this is not sport, this is art. When you're doing art, it's fine to enjoy yourself, otherwise, what are we doing? To sum up, create a project that you can pursue in your daily efforts. Two, Generating the ideas is part of the writing thing, so don't just jump on the page without ideas because you won't last. And manage your ideas, so create an outline, the outline of your plot, if that's what you enjoy, or nail down your protagonist and where the story is going to take place if you don't want to create a plot. And then set a realistic goal to pursue every day of words to put on a page. And I think this was it for today, guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this wasn't confusing. Uh, I'm pretty new at this. I'm totally new at this. And I have never been a teacher, but um, I've been very, very fond of YouTube and uh, learning from strangers through a screen. So I thought I could give it a shot as well. And if you like what I'm doing and if you like writing, like the video, subscribe and I will be back for more next week. See you guys. Cheers.